there, it's Becca from The Knitting Unicorn, and it is Vlogmas Day 4! Um, so I have a Knitmas Day 2 gift to show you. Uh, I had a little bit of a yarn venture today, and I have some FOs and whips. Uh, first, I'm going to start with Knitmas! So, um... Not going to go into the whole thing, but Amber and I are doing 10 days of Knitmas and we're giving each other 10 days of presents. This is day two. And today I open this! It is a mini skein from Birch Dye Works. It's fingering weight um, and the colorway is Barbara. It's gorgeous. Look at this. I love it. Mm. It's definitely going to be heels and toes for a sock, I think. I'm thinking a gray sock. I have a, a light gray from Flying Fin Yarns, and I think this will be heels and toes, and it'll be so cute. So I'm so excited. Thank you, Amber. I love this. It's going to go in my little mini jar right here. Right. And then uh, some of the women from the Sip and Stitch were going to go to uh, a yarn store called Another Yarn in Burlington, Mass. And I work just down the road in Bedford. So I decided I would pop by and see them while I was on lunch. And none of us had been, well, I hadn't been there. And I think a couple of them hadn't been there. But either way, it was awesome. They had all the good stuff. Mar Madeline Tosh, Shibui, um, Sweet Georgia, uh, just everything. R Rowan, they had everything. And it was amazing. Um, oh my god, I can't wait to go back there. It's right down the street from my office. I'm going to be there all the time. As soon as Christmas is over and I have money to spend. So I got there. I just got one little skein because I'm trying to be good. But I got a... Uh, the Croft Shetland Tweed from the West Yorkshire Spinners. It's 100% Shetland Island wool and it's in Maryfield, which is a pink tweed. Oh, is this not gorgeous? You see that? Oh my god, I am in love with this. Uh, it is an Aran weight and 182 yards. I think I'm going to make it into mittens or a hat. I don't know, but oh my god. It's so beautiful. Look at it again. Look, look, at, look at the pink. The pink and black and gray tweed. Oh my god, I love it. Yay! So that was a little present to myself. And then I also got... A little pin from the shop because I have my pin collection on my knitting bag and so I got another yarn enamel pin if I can get it out of the bag oh my god it's so cute another yarn little sheep so that will go right on my little bag. I'm very excited about that. So that was a fun trip. Oh my god, they had so much. And they had all the Luca needles. They had the double pointed sock needle set from Luca, and I, oh my god, I want that so bad. So that was really cool. And then I have an FO. If you're one of my coworkers in the Bedford office, look away. This is my Yankee Swap gift. It's the tread hat. I have to secure the pom pom a little bit more. But here's my tread hat with a faux bunny pom pom. And this is a pattern by Shannon Cook. Um, I, I'll link to it this time, but I also linked to it on my first episode um, because I had made this hat before in the blue, the wool folk yarn um which is what it called for but this is um malabrigo silky merino uh it's a a gray white and it 
see how it goes from light to dark and then light again? The whole skein is like that. It's actually really cool. Do I have it in here? Yeah. If you look at it, you'll see it goes dark to light to dark, which is really neat. And there's another light one in there too. So, um, if I have time, I might make mittens to go with it, but we'll see. So that's my Yankee Swap gift this year. And for whips, I mentioned yesterday that uh, Jen Stack has the Snip Snap Socks pattern. And I am doing that for my brother. So this is my whip. This is, it's a bulky weight yarn. It's really soft. Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just gonna do, it's, it's a modified Snip Snap sock because I'm not doing the Afterthought heel. I'm just doing it as a tube sock with the toe. Um, so I'm just gonna knit a whole tube and another cuff and then I'll stitch in some waist yarn and then snip it and do the toes, which Supposedly is faster and hope I mean it's a bulky weight yarn, so it's knitting up really fast. This is gonna be like a house sock, so um, They're really nice and I think I might make myself leg warmers in this yarn. I really love it um, I don't remember what it is though, so I'm sorry Actually, I think No, I don't have any but That's my whip. It is going to be a house sock for my brother, and I just love it. Uh, he's really tall and has really big feet, so I have a lot to go, like, all the way down here, I think. Um, and then, for my friend Lisa, she wanted me to make a baby sweater for her to give to a friend. So I'm doing the Flax by Tin Can Knits, and a little modification is that I put in a stripe. So I'm on the body of it right now. And I'm putting in these stripes. And the, the stripes are going to get bigger as they go. Well, I'm almost done. I'm going to, the next one's going to be all gray to the bottom. And then I'll do the sleeves. And the flax, it's a regular raglan, not, nothing fancy, super easy. But there's a garter panel on the shoulder, well, on the sleeves, which just gives it a little bit of interest and is really pretty. This, I'm actually making the light flax for myself which is a fingering weight version. Um, and so I decided to do a baby version in the worsted flex pattern. So I really love it. I think it's coming out nice. And I'll probably finish this tomorrow. So you have to come get it, Lisa. Don't forget. And that's all I have to show you today. Um, it was a fun day. Oh, I also went to David's Tea and got some Santa secret. And then I got a um, Let It Snow latte with soy milk. Oh my God. I know all of you, I always see on the podcast and on Instagram, everyone talking about their Santa's secret or secret Santa or whatever the heck it is. Um, forget secret Santa. It's Let It Snow is the best Christmas David's tea ever. It was, oh my God, it was so good, so I loved that. And I couldn't believe it was a green tea because it does not taste like a green tea. It was divine. Um, so I might have some more of that tonight, I think. So that's it for me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new Knit Miss present from Amber and hopefully a FO. Um, and then I have some sock whips going on too, but I think I'm going to stick to showing you guys gift knitting right now because that seems to be in the spirit of Christmas and the holidays. So I hope you guys have a great night. I'm off to go make some tea. Bye.